Hello everybody, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. My name is Goretti and today I just wanted to quickly talk about a topic that I actually never really knew about until I experienced uh, narcissistic abuse and started researching it. There is something called reactive abuse and what this is is where your um, you know, the person that is, you know, uh, doing this to you, where they actually on purpose will do things to trigger you um, and then, you know, have you react to them. And this way they can actually point the finger at you and then say that you're the problem as well. It also gives them, you know, um, the I guess you know permission or okay to go ahead and abuse you and abuse you further um, because now they have a reason to or they think so you know they justify their abuse this way and it, it's actually a very re real thing it is called reactive abuse um, and it's exactly that it is that your abuser will get you to react um, in a negative way and we're all human and everybody goes through it um you know if you're in that situation you don't know how you're going to react in those situations especially if you are in this environment that is like a war zone and a pressure cooker on a regular daily basis so i just wanted to touch on this really really quickly just you know i'm not an expert on this i just know about what I've experienced and also what I've done my research on um and I just sorry um I just wanted to you know kind of let you all know that it's uh something that's a very real very common and the biggest reason I wanted to touch on this is because of the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial and lots of people you know even though a lot of people were you know supportive of Johnny because they could tell that you know he was telling the truth and they could tell that Amber Heard was clearly um, making up things. Um, you know, people also talked about, well, it's both of them. You know, they were both toxic. They were both, you know, bad uh, and, and no good for each other. This is where I want to challenge you. And the reason is because I actually did a bunch of research. I didn't just watch the trial. I went and I listened to things that weren't even given in the trial or let into the trial. I listened to the full versions of the little clips that you heard in the trial. I listened to probably 10 hours worth of stuff and went through, you know, a bunch of other things. So going into the history of him with, you know, his, his exes, I mean, to, to live 17 years with somebody um, raising children and being, you know, in that environment and having no issues, um, that's kind of, that, that's a clue, right? Because usually people, you know, um, especially with narcissistic abuse, right? If they have narcissistic personality disorder or lots of narcissistic traits, you will see a trend in their history and in their past. You will see them going through a lot of partners. You'll see them actually, um, you know, having issues maybe with the law. Um, you know, uh, it could be with, you know, police, there could, there could be domestic violence, you know, things, um, it, there's issues maybe with their children and with, you know, child and family and, and stuff like that. So you're going to see a lot kind of in their history. And so I really dug deep into Johnny Depp's history. Um, I'm a researcher. I love learning. I love researching and I'm, I'm all about the truth. So, um, I actually wanted to be a lawyer, you know, before and didn't for many different reasons, but um, I truly love, you know, being a counselor. I, I think that was my calling, but I definitely, you know, um, like digging into things to find out the truth. I'm also very much, you know, that kind of warrior type personality that I really, you know, want justice. I want things that are just, I want, um, you know, I, I just want to know the truth. Um, sorry about that. I got a call and I didn't know how to like stop it while I was doing a video. So, um, I, I'm all about the truth and digging for the truth. And so that's why I kind of went and did that. And also it was something that I'm very, you know, uh, interested in and passionate about. And so I've experienced it too. So I wanted to learn more. And 
what I can say from everything that I have researched and gathered is that what you heard, the negative stuff from Johnny Depp, as bad as it was, that was reactive abuse because I heard hours of recordings, like hours at a time, like one recording for a few hours and multiple of these. And he was so patient. And I mean, like most people would have would have lost their patience at that point but he was so patient and so kind and loving and he tried really really hard to kind of you know fix the situation with her and and, and do what he could in the in those moments um but that doesn't work with someone with these you know issues and traits like narcissism um so <laughs> It's called crazy making for a reason. These people with these issues actually try to make you feel crazy. And you don't know how to get around it because nothing about it is logical. There's nothing logical about it. Okay? Here's the other thing. This is what I learned the hard way and took a long time. But really ask yourself because they, they kind of, you know, pull you into this web where you're really confused and you don't understand. But with reactive abuse, ask yourself. I'm normally not like this with people. And the fact that I got triggered and I got, you know, my buttons pushed and, and really pushed into this place where I react and then a normal person feels remorse. They feel bad for it. They want to rectify it. They apologize for it. The other person will not. That's how you know the difference. The other person will not, they will never take responsibility for what they do or what they say. But if you are that person receiving the abuse and you react out of character and in negative, bad ways that you feel not great about, um, ask yourself, does this person really love me? Is this love? Is this relationships? No, it's not. But there's certain things within you actually that cause you to stay in that and get caught up in that web um, and try to reason and, and fix things for a long time. And that's unfortunately the dynamic of these relationships. So Johnny Depp, look at his history. Really dig deep before you make your opinion and judgment on him. I've experienced it, I've lived it, I know, and from everything I've researched and done on my own in regards to his, you know, story and situation, I can say that he was reacting to the abuse. It's called reactive abuse, not that he was a bad person. Okay, so I truly believe that. This is why I'm talking about this today. Hopefully this was helpful for you. Uh, thank you so much for watching this, and please like my video. Um, subscribe to my channel and share this with anybody that you feel needs to hear this message. I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. And I wish you all peace, love, and light. Until next time. Bye-bye.